that video was disturbing and we cannot show you most of it. We just want to give you a warning before we play it. The state spent this entire day showing video from more than a dozen different sources. They began with the taped interview the defendant gave to police and they ended with video from Officer Amy Caprio's body worn camera. Most of the footage we cannot show you, but you can see Officer Amy Caprio spot the black Jeep Wrangler in question, hit her siren, and then follow the Jeep into a cul-de-sac. Stop! Stop! Get out of the car! 10-3. Get out of the car! Get out of the car right now! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out Prosecutors claim Dante Harris hit Caprio with a stolen Jeep Wrangler on purpose and killed her. The defense says Harris was a scared kid who panicked when he saw a gun. Dueling narratives and the interview playback had elements of both. The state highlighting that Harris lied from the get-go, even about how to spell his first name. And prosecutors say in that interview at police headquarters in Towson, Harris is caught on camera hiding the key to the stolen Jeep under the detective's chair. The defense says he's a scared teenage boy. And when a police officer pulled up and pointed her gun at him, Harris says, I was just so scared. I didn't know what to do. I put my head down, closed my eyes and hit the gas. I didn't even know I hit her. I was so scared I was going to crash or get shot. You could tell the kid is, is, is soft, he, he's pliable, um, and he felt like he didn't really have anything to hide. And so that's why he talked to them, and that's why there was a great deal of sincerity when he talks about being deathly afraid. That's defense attorney Warren Brown. This day ended with Warren Brown cross-examining the lead homicide detective in the case, and that's where this trial will pick up on Monday morning. Live in Towson tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.